Hello everyone. Our today's topic is weight. We will be learning about what weight is and how we can measure weight of different objects. Look at this weighing scale. There is an apple in one pan and one watermelon in the other pan. Have you noticed that the pan carrying the apple is hanging higher than the pan carrying the watermelon? That is so because apple is light and watermelon is heavy. The heaviness or lightness of an object is called its weight. Weight is also known as mass. So, by putting an apple and a watermelon on a weighing scale, we found that watermelon has more weight than apple because it is heavier than apple. This weighing scale is used to compare the weight of two objects. When we weigh two objects on a scale, if one object goes down, it means it is heavier and the other object goes up. It means it is lighter but if the scale stays balanced, it means both objects have the same weight. Suppose, if we put four cookies in the right pan of the weighing scale and a big loaf of bread in the left pan, which one of these foods is heavier? Since the left pan went downward while the right pan went upward, it means the bread is heavier than the cookies. Or, we can say the cookies are lighter than the bread. Two objects can have same size, but their weight can be different. For instance, let's put a plastic cricket bat in the left pan of the scale and a wooden cricket bat in the right pan. You see, the right pan is lowered, so we know that the wooden bat is heavier than the plastic bat, although they have the same size. The weight also increases with the increase in quantity, even if the object is the same. For instance, let's place two oranges of same sizes in each of the two bands of the scale. You see the scale balanced. That is so because both bands have the same weight. But if we add two more oranges of the same size in the left pan, the left pan goes down and the right pan goes up. This happened because the weight in left pan has increased as it has four oranges while the right pan still has two oranges. So now the weight in the left pan is heavier than the right pan. The standard measuring unit of weight or mass is gram. In short, we can write it as G. Another measuring unit is kilogram. In short, we can write it as kg. There are 100 grams in 1 kilogram. Small items are weighed in grams and big items are weighed in kg. You may have seen 
vegetable and fruit sellers put the vegetable or fruit that is to be weighed in one pan of the weighing scale and some rock or piece of metal that is equal to 1 gram or kilogram. These rock and piece of metal are used to compare the weight of the object. Now, if you ask the seller to give you 100 grams of almonds, he will put a rock or metal of 5 grams in one pan and start placing almonds in the other pan. And as soon as both pans are balanced, he will stop placing more almonds and give you the almonds that are in the pan. Since the scale was balanced, it means the almonds are equal to 100 grams. As we know the rock, metal has 10 grams weight. Similarly, if you ask him to give you 2 kg apples, he will put a weight, rock or metal that has 2 kg weight in one pan and keep putting apples in the other pan until the scale balances out. In modern day, some digital weighing scales are also used, which use batteries to work and do not need rocks or metals to compare the item with. The item to be weighed is placed on the scale and the digital display shows its weight in grams and kg. Let's put a sack of potatoes in this digital scale. The display says 2 kg. So the mass of the potatoes in the sack is 2 kg. We hope now you have learned about weight. If some concepts are not clear, then replay the video again and again. Still, if you have some questions, then ask your teacher.